We've talked a lot in this series about how important it is to keep water out of and away from your house. Water destroys houses. Insurance claims based on water damage are probably about the most numerous and expensive claims that there are. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. It seems true to me, and I know that one of the biggest sources of water problems around here is roof water. It falls out of the sky, onto the shingles, and runs downhill to the edge of the roof. If it falls into a gutter and runs smoothly into a gutter drain system and then far away from the house, no problem whatsoever. But if it drops off the roof and runs back under the foundation or blows back onto the siding, it's just a question of time until there are big, big problems. Problems like black mold, rotting structures, and maybe, worst of all, sinking foundations. This is why we've brought Roseburg Roofing back onto the job. You remember Mike Morris and his guys? They put the roofing on our place for us and did a great job. I've known Mike for years and it's always a pleasure to do business with him. But in this case, Brad Morris, his son runs the gutter division of this father-son company. And Brad has sent these guys out to install continuous aluminum gutter on our house and we're glad to see them. Now it seems like most continuous gutter machines around here are mounted on trailers and are pulled behind pickups. But it's just so smart to have this machine enclosed in a truck. Because water doesn't just degrade houses, it will degrade a continuous gutter machine. And in the van, in this truck, this machine is going to last a long, long time. It consists of electric motors and powered rollers and dies that extrude a roll of pre-painted aluminum into the desired profile. It's cut to length, end caps are crimped and sealed in place, downspout adapters are cut in, installed and sealed, and then the whole assembly is screwed into the right spot on the rafter tails at the eave of the house. Now you may remember that when the roofing was installed, the very first step was to nail down a drip edge flashing at the eaves. Right now, by slipping the edge of the gutter up behind that drip edge, a leak proof flashing is put in place so that every single drop will always end up inside the gutter. This is the big advantage with this 5K gutter design. It allows the gutter to be sloped to drain towards the downspouts without compromising the integrity of the joint at the edge of the roof. With the gutter screwed to the rafter tails, it's time to build and install the downspouts. So in some ways that you may not be thinking of, the downspouts are trickier than the gutters. Obviously the gutters are higher and more dangerous. You've really got to pay attention. But the downspouts are three-dimensional shapes, right out in plain close-up view, with pretty ambiguous and fuzzy and sort of hard to nail down points to measure off of and plumb off of and line up with. But the problem is any mistakes that you make in this process are going to be obvious.
We're finally on the home stretch with this spec house project. It's been a long process. Thanks for hanging with us. And don't give up, because there's quite a lot of videos still to come of the finishing up processes inside and outside this house. But I gotta say, it sure feels good to see this project begin to emerge in something very close to what it's gonna look like when it's all done. Thanks for watching Essential Craftsman, and keep up the good work.